Myself, Deep Kaparia. And myself, Nikulana. We are from Department of Electrical Engineering at CK Vitala College of Engineering and Technology, Surat. In today's world, there is an increasing need to create artificial hand where human interaction is difficult or unsecured. So here we propose to build a humanoid hand. Yes, Mr. Kaparia, we have to design a prototype which will use for the bomb diffusion. You know what? There are always going to be challenging for human to diffuse a bomb. Because importance of human life is always more than anything. Yes, Mr. Rana, I agree with you. The same problem is in nuclear power plant, where human can't enter in radioactive area without any precautions. In agricultural side, there is a big problem of uh, spring of pesticides. So it will be used for that. Mr. Rana, we are from electrical engineering. How we forget about transmission lines? The fault is major issue in transmission lines. So we should go for that. This is Tiva C series TM4C123G launch with development board which is 32 bit ARM microcontroller board. This is TM4C123G H 6PM microcontroller and it is the heart of the system. This is CC110L booster pack. Booster pack means it directly fits on launch bed like this. It is a wireless trans receiver module. It has built in antenna so we don't need to attach any external antenna. We used it to transmit and receive data between the humanoid head and human head. This is L293D IC. It is a dual edge bridge IC. It is used to drive the DC motors. This is LP2951 IC. It is a linear voltage regulator, single output LDO. LDO stands for low dropout regulator. We used it to step down the voltage from 12V to 3.3V. This is UA7805 IC. We used it to get constant 5V. This 5V is used to dive the L293D. These are the components 3 kg centimeter hobby servo motor, 150 rpm DC motor, flex sensor, and 12V 5 ampere battery. These are the custom PCBs we made by Itching Matter. This is the voltage divider PCB and this is motor driver and power supply PCB. Let me talk about the voltage divider PCB. This is 3.3 volt. This is ground. These are the 10 kilo ohm resistors. Five flex sensors are connected here. Microcontroller cannot detect the change in resistance. So we need to convert it in appropriate change in voltage. So that's why we use this voltage divider circuit. The analog voltage are fed to microcontroller via ADC pins. This is power supply and motor driver PCB. 12 volt from battery is connected here. This is 7805 IC. It will regulate 12 volt from constant 5 volt. Uh, this 5 volt is used to drive the two L293 ICs. We need four DC motors. So, we, uh, so here we used two L293. Um, M1 and M2 pins are connected to microcontroller. These two will drive the two uh, DC motors M1 and M2. M3 and M4 are connected to microcontroller and it will drive the uh, M3, uh, three, two motors M3 and M4. This is the servo motor connections. Servo motor has three pins, ground, VCC and uh, signal. These five signal pins are connected to microcontroller. So here is the detailed block diagram of our system. There are three units. Unit one is human head, unit two is humanoid head, and unit three is vehicle unit. Let us discuss about unit number one. There are three inputs, flex sensor and accelerometer. Flex sensor will convert the bending of fingers into respective resistance. This resistance is converted by voltage divider into respective voltage. This analog voltage is given to microcontroller. Accelerometer will convert the motion of according to the x, y, z axis into the analog voltages. This analog voltage is also given to microcontroller. We are using TM4C123G at 6 pm microcontroller from Texas Instrument for our project. Microcontroller will communicate with transmitter using SSI protocol. SSI stands for Synchronous Serial Interface. We are using CC110L trans receiver from Texas Instrument as a wireless module. Now I am discuss about unit number 2. Signal transmitted by the transmitter are received by the receiver which is CC110L. These signals are applied to the microcontroller which is the same microcontroller. Microcontroller will generate the PWM signals and servo motor drive according to these PWM signals. In this way we get the movement of fingers. 
and this unit is also controlled by the same microcontroller this microcontroller will generate the signals for DC motor driver here we are using L293D IC to drive the DC motors we are using 4 DC motors so in this way we get the movement of vehicle This hand is nothing but compared to human hand. Importance of human life is always more than anything. So this importance is required to maintain. So this is our first try.